the rules of watercolor. There are three rules you need to keep in mind when you use watercolors. First, the more water, the less control. There are two basic techniques in watercolor, the wet on wet and the wet on dry. As we are talking about watercolor, it is obvious that we need water to get the pigments on our brush. But the question is, if we are painting on a dry paper or a wet paper. If we put water on the paper, we can put it in a desired shape, for example, and then we add the pigment with our brush. In this technique, we do not have too much control and the results are pretty much a surprise. There are lots of possibilities within this technique. For example, we can create a gradation by adding more pigments in one side of the shape, or even we can get decorative elements like watercolor blooms, or we can even mix colors within. For now, just remember that with too much water, you have less control. So if you want a shape to be filled seamlessly, you don't want to wet the paper. Just use the water on your brush. The second, work from light to dark. With watercolors, we work with transparent layers. This causes that we can't paint a lighter layer on a dark layer, as we could do with acrylic paint. So we need to be mindful of the light spaces in our sketches and leave them out. Then we continue to add darker and darker layers to reach the result we want. Wet surfaces can't touch. If wet surfaces touch each other, the colors blend or bleed. If we want the bordering spaces to be a different color without blending, we can do two things. Either we can wait till one color dries and then we add the second color, or we leave a white space border within the two colors. Don't be too strict with this. Blending of bordering colors might give us interesting results and some artistic character. Watercolor is not really about precision, mainly when you are just starting out. I prefer to keep my spaces neat, but that's just me, because I'm mainly an acrylic painter and that's just a totally different medium and I'm just used to that the paints stay where I put them. Watercolors are more loose and free. So these are the three rules to keep in mind when you work with watercolors. But remember, these techniques are not exclusive. You might use all three of the rules in one painting. So you might keep a little white space, some boarding spaces blend to each other. You might paint a darker, darker layer in some spaces. Always just do what your heart tells you and don't limit yourself by anything. Learn more in the Watercolor for Beginners Facebook group.